Shani stand together. To defeat one or two of us says nothing of how a true battle would go. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Use any item, any weapon, any technique you wish. You will need them. There is no need for the last of us to join in this fight. The weakest among us will only serve to diminish our techniques. We fight as one when we are five, not six. And that number should be enough for this lesson. Very well. We shall begin. There shall be no more matches, no more challenges. There is much we have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be prepared. What? Look, I'm fine, okay? I was just a little dizzy when I first woke up. Ichani training. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, that. Don't tell anyone, but you wouldn't believe how many fights you can prevent by just pretending to know that stuff. I mean, it doesn't compare to wearing a lightsaber, but then again, that doesn't seem to help you much. Well, hey, thanks. But you've got the wrong guy. I'm good at shooting people, cracking wise, and pretending to know how to fight with my hands. Nah, don't worry about me, I'm fine. Uh, how did things go with the Jedi here? Are you all done? Well, that's not exactly what I wanted to hear. No, I was just complaining. <laughs> I'm with you until things start going better for you. We need to stick together, you know? And who knows? I might be able to help you out of a tight spot at some point. 
Ah, hey, no mention it. <laughs> it's my pleasure. Well, if it isn't the one who stole the Ebonhawk. Not so smug now, are you, you little thief? Don't be a fool. Atris stole the ship and the droid, says you. Mistress, the last of the handmaidens is not among us. She has left with the exile. Left? But why? Her oath. Her reasons are unknown to me. But I fear she may no longer be trusted. We will save her if we can, but we must let her discover the exile's nature for herself. Some evils must be confronted, and isolation from it would have been no defense. Now that we're off that Dejaric board of a planet, I say we burn sky until we see lines. summoned you, so have you come full circle to return to the Jedi. Why did you defy us? The Jedi are guardians of the peace, and have been for centuries. This call to war undermines all that we have worked for. Is Revan your master now? Or is it the horror you wrought at Malachor that has caused you to see the truth at last? Understanding of what happened at Malachor 5 will only happen in time, and it cannot happen here in the battle You are exiled, and you are a Jedi no longer. There is one last thing your lightsaber. Surrender it to us. Correct, Kavar. When he was here, I felt it. It 
was as if he was not there, more like an echo. Revan's influence has grown amongst the youngest of the Order. He speaks to their passions, not their sense. The war has touched them. Many of them have found themselves in the war against the Mandalorians. It is as I feared, and I fear that we have played into the hands of the enemy. We have not lost a Jedi this day. You felt it. He has lost himself. He is no Jedi. He walked Revan's path, but he was not strong enough. I fear it is our teachings that may have led Revan to choose the path he did. We are not the ones who taught him. We take responsibility, Atris, not cast blame. A choice of one was the choice of us all. Revan's teacher intended no harm, and Revan had many teachers since. Yet they all stem from the same source. Her teachings violated the Jedi Code and lead all who listen to the dark side, as they did the exile. You are wrong. The dark side is not what I sensed in the exile. Surely the rest of you felt it as well. That emptiness we felt. He has changed. Whatever that wound was, it was of the dark side. We should not have let him depart. He will simply join Revan again, or perhaps worse. What would you have done with him, Atris? Be mindful of your feelings. This is not Revan who's here before you. This one walks a different path. No, although that may come in time. We let him go because we must. Where he travels, he carries his destination with him. Malachor V should have been his grave. You saw it in his walk, and in the Force. It was as if he was already dead. No, not death. Many battles remain for that one, if what we have seen is true. But the future is a shifting thing, and he cuts like a blade through it. We should have told him the truth. A Jedi deserves to know. No good would have come from it, even if what you believe was true. There is still the matter of Revan, and such truths could leave us vulnerable on two fronts. Perhaps in many years, we will call him before us and explain what happened to him, and how he may be healed. Until then, he must accept his journey. But he may never discover the truth, and he will never know why we cast him out. And that is the future we must accept. Those Jedi sure like their secrets, don't they? There is some larger plan at work here, and we are walking into it. This is too convenient to be anything but a trap. Those are Atris's records you have stolen. What the hell are you doing on our ship? I have come to join you. I can help you against this threat. Well, we don't want your help. Or any of your sisters. If it comforts you to believe that, then so be it. But the enemies you face are many, and you will need all the help you can get. It is just me, and I am doing this because Atris believes you will need help. Indeed. But of course, what does one more matter to our journey? I have had enough of this. I will be in my chambers. Yeah, me too. I'll be in my chambers. But since I don't have any, I guess I'll just go to the cockpit like I always do. If she's coming with us, she gets the cargo hold. Might remind her how fun it is to get locked up. General. The cargo hold is enough. I assure you, there is little I need. I will attend to myself. It is no matter. I am used to worse conditions, but thank you for your kindness. General, is there a reason you don't carry a lightsaber anymore? 